Lyme disease is a bacterial infection carried by infected ticks to people. When it's detected early, it's usually easier to cure. In some people, a circular or oval rash around a tick bite might be an early indication of Lyme disease. The rash can take up to three months to appear after being bitten by an infected tick, but it generally shows up between one to four weeks. It can last for weeks at a time. The rash may have a darker or lighter central area and may spread over time. It is rarely hot or irritating. When it develops on white skin, the rash may be flat or slightly elevated, and it appears pink, red, or purple. On brown and black skin, the rash might be difficult to spot and may seem as a bruise. A few days or weeks after being bitten by an infected tick, some people experience flu-like symptoms, such as a high temperature, or a feverish and shivering sensation, a headache, muscular and joint discomfort, exhaustion, and a lack of energy. Tick bites are not always painful. You may not notice a tick unless you see it on your skin. Regularly check for ticks on your clothes and skin, and on children and pets after being outdoors. Now let's look at the transmission. The Lyme disease bacterium, Borrelia burgdorferi, is spread through the bite of infected ticks. Ticks can attach to any region of the body, but they are most commonly found in areas that are difficult to notice, such as the groin, armpits, and scalp. Before the Lyme disease bacterium can be transferred, the tick must be attached for at least 36 to 48 hours. The bites of juvenile ticks called nymphs infect the majority of humans. Nymphs are little, less than 2 mm, and difficult to spot, and they feed in the spring and summer. Adult ticks can also transmit Lyme disease bacterium, but because they are larger, they are more likely to be identified and removed before the bacteria has had a chance to spread. Adult Ixodes ticks are most active in the fall and winter months. For Lyme disease, the CDC presently recommends a two-step testing procedure. Both processes are necessary, and they can be completed with the same blood sample. If the results of this first phase are negative, no additional testing is advised. The second step should be taken if the first step is affirmative or indeterminate, also known as equivocal. Only when the first test is positive, or equivocal, and the second test is positive is the total result positive, or for some tests equivocal. Early Lyme disease diagnosis and antibiotic treatment are critical for preventing late Lyme disease. The treatment regimens listed below reflect the CDC's interpretation of the most recent data for four major Lyme disease presentations. Erythema migrans, neurologic Lyme disease, Lyme carditis, and Lyme arthritis. Even after Lyme disease therapy, some individuals continue to experience pain, exhaustion, and difficulty thinking. The current state of knowledge about persistent Lyme disease symptoms is limited, developing, and unresolved, and more research is needed. To better understand how to treat, manage, and support people with persistent Lyme disease symptoms. Because of these study gaps, there are no recommendations for treating persistent symptoms in persons who have already been treated for Lyme disease. Here are a few examples of rash in Lyme disease. To learn more, please subscribe and support us, thank you.